I'm also going to name the part of the podcast song of mercy with bow ears and humble heart. Yes, yes Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank yes, sir. you, Lord, for another day. Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Lord, we realize that everything that we've done that was so good. Oh, no, Lord, it wasn't. Because you said in your word that we all have sinned. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. right, right, right. right. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. But Lord, once again, grace and mercy prevail. Yes. 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 Now, Lord, if it's your will, we ask that you might come within these four walls Please, and Lord. have your way with us, Lord. Yes. 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 Speak a word to us right now in yes. Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Yes. Lord, we thank you for those that are here. And thank you, Lord. We want to send out prayer for those that had a desire for Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. But nevertheless, Lord, let your will be done. Yes. yes. Then we pray, God, that if it's anyone that I miss, they don't know you. My Lord. They might come right and ask the Lord, what must I do to be saved? Yes. Continue to stir up the fire within us, Lord. Oh, yes, 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 do it, God. do it. Continue to have the Father to show yourself to us. Oh, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And then, Lord, we want to be careful with whatever we say and do, that your name may receive all my honor yes, yes, and all the praises. Mm -hmm. These are going to bless you, asking your son Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. 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 And only the God who is the head of our life. Amen. To our son in the ministry, it's good to see that one of the dead more. Amen. Amen. To minister wives and to Ann. Amen. Amen. To the deacon brother and then. Real, real. Pastor. To all God's children, just a blessing. Once again, to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is a word. Well. From the Lord. Thank you, Lord. As we enter into the, the month of being thankful. All right. Yes. Amen. Start praying and asking the Lord to lead us. I said, Lord, it's not fair. That we just take one Sunday out of the month or one day out of the year just to say thank you. All right. All right. I don't know about you, but I just can't take one day. You take more right than one day. Thank you. Every day, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm thankful for mm -hmm. So I said, Lord, instead of just one Sunday, I want to dedicate the whole month. Amen. Amen. Just showing you how thankful we are to Amen. you. Amen. And he led us to this particular passage, John chapter Ooh, 6, thank you, Lord. verses 5 through 14. We already have read it. And I'm trying to see which verse I want to look at because it all tells a story. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just look at verse number 11 if you don't mind. Amen. It says, and Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples, and the disciples took them that were set down, and likewise of the fishes, as much as they would. You may be seated. Just for a few moments, if you don't mind, I want to talk about be thankful for what you got. Amen. Amen. Be thankful for what you got. You might not have everything that you want. And, and you might not have the best of what you got. All right, man. But at least be thankful for Amen. 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 The Lord can bless you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I believe that's what's wrong with this young generation today. They ain't thankful for nothing. Amen. These kids eat what they want to eat. Wear what they want to wear. And go where they want to go. All right. And it wasn't like that when I was growing up. Amen. I don't know how Amen. it was in your household, but it wasn't like that when I was growing up. Amen. These kids don't know nothing about 
collard greens. All right. And, and, and hot water cornbread. They don't know right. about that. All because, right. because see, they think they supposed to have meat with every meal. Yeah. There were some meals in our household. We, we didn't have meat. Amen. All right. Amen. Thank you. You understand? We, we act like we got to have meat with every meal, but but be thankful for whatever you have. Right, man. And these kids. And I can't just, just pinpoint it on the kids because there's some grown folks Amen. Amen. out there right now. I ain't thankful Amen. for nothing. Amen. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't eat, you understand all that. I don't eat what you, you understand, cook. You know, it wasn't like that when I was there. Uh, 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 my auntie was here. Uh, Z. Cola James Long was here. The Golden Jane Long had a, had, had, had a solution to that ideology because she used to always say, you'll eat it before it eats you. Uh -huh. You get hungry enough. Yeah. Uh -huh. You understand? Stomach start to yeah. You understand? Don't know where your next meal is coming from. You ought to be thankful All right, man. for what you got. Dan, we, 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 we complain too much. And, and, and it's sad that, 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 that my people Black Thank folks yeah. ain't thankful Thank for nothing. All right, right. man. Yes, yeah, there used to be a time, you understand, that you could go over to Sister Sally's house. Yeah. Ask Sister Sally for a tomato. Uh -huh. You understand? And go over next door and ask for uh, some eggs and some sugar. Uh -huh. Nowadays, we won't share with nobody. All right, man. You understand? We'll look at you and let you go home. And then close our door and talk about you. Yeah. Somewhere along the line, we have lost a sense of being thankful. Uh -huh. You understand? No matter what you got, great or small, you ought to be thankful right. for what you got. Amen. Yeah, and I can go on and on about being thankful. Yeah. Somebody got up this morning. I wasn't thankful for getting up. All right, amen. So I complained and before their feet hit the floor. Uh -huh. My head hurt, my back hurt. Yeah. You understand? But I ought to be thankful that you can still feel the head. All right. Thankful that you can still have back yeah. Because you know, yesterday, we buried a loved one on yesterday. Uh -huh. and, 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 and we don't know when God going to call our name. Yeah. Yeah. So therefore, you ought to be thankful. Hey. Yes, sir. For what you got. Amen. Thank God for a reasonable portion of your health and your strength. Here in our text, we witness a miracle done by Jesus. And verse number one said, after these things, uh -huh. Jesus had been healing the disease. Uh -huh. You understand? And the text says that the crowd other people followed him. Yeah. God ought not have to keep proving himself to us. All right, man. But nevertheless, I thank God that he proved himself to us. Yeah. And, and, and as he, they saw how Jesus was healing the sick and the disease, they, they made it up in their mind that they want to follow Jesus. Yeah. I wish somebody here today would make up their mind to follow Jesus. All right. Yes, as long as things going good, we don't uh -huh. feel the need to come to the house of the Lord. All right, man. But as soon as you get that pink notice, yeah. As uh -huh. soon as folks say they really been ready to put you out your house, yeah. Here you want to come here with your face hanging down. All right. With a sad, sorry story. Yeah. Uh -huh. But you ought to come to God when things are good. Yeah, amen. So when things get bad, you know God already yeah. know about it. Yeah. Yes, sir. But hey. Decided they were going to follow Jesus. Mm -hmm. And Jesus didn't want to send them or send the people back home mm -hmm. Lord, thank you. from traveling so far home. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. So Jesus sought to meet their needs. Thank you. And then we're going to be thankful All right. for what we got. Uh -huh. yeah. We got to look at Jesus for our example. Uh -huh. First thing Jesus showed us was he was compassionate. Yeah. Yeah, one thing I learned in life, if you want to receive a blessing, if you want the Lord to 
open up the windows of heaven right. and pour you out blessing after blessing. Yes, sir. You ought to have some compassion right. for somebody else. Right. Have some compassion for your brothers and your sisters. Yeah. You understand? Jesus showed compassion yeah. to this multitude. All right. Text said, how do I know? Well, the text said, Jesus saw. Yeah. In verse number five. And I'm glad Jesus saw. Amen. Some of y'all glad that Jesus yeah. saw too. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, Jesus saw before we could see. Amen. Amen. Jesus saw that hole that we was in. Uh -huh. yeah. Saw that predicament that we was headed into. Thank you, Lord. And you don't have to raise your hand. It, it been a minute times Jesus, you understand, saw my situation. All right, All right, man. Jesus right. looked in my refrigerator. Yeah. Well, Jesus you. looked in my cabinets. Yes, sir. And knew that it was, it was, I was like that, that, like that widow woman. Yeah. You understand? That you had a little meal and a little oil. Uh -huh. I was down to my last meal and didn't know where my next one was coming yeah. from. Yeah. But I thank God that Jesus saw. Yes, yeah. It says that, that Jesus so, and he became concerned. Uh -huh. and, when, and, 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 when is, and when he is concerned, he showed us that he cared. Right. You gotta thank God thank for a caring, concerned Christ. Yeah. Text says, when Jesus then lifted up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him. Text says, Jesus lifted up his eyes. Uh-huh. And see this great company. And in a great company was a great complaint. Yeah. Sickness. Yeah. Disease. Yeah. You name it. it. It was in that company of people. All right. You understand? But what impressed me the most is that they came to Jesus as they were. Uh, yes, sir. Amen. You understand? And that's how we ought to be. Every now and then you ought to come to Jesus as you were. Yeah. Well. Weary, wounded, and sad. All right. And you ought to uh, uh, go and tell Jesus, thank you every now and then. Yes, you understand right. whether you're going through something or not. Learn how to tell God, thank you. Thank you, Lord. And know that God is able to, to carry you out of your yeah. Yeah. predicament yes, or your yeah. conditions. Yes, yes, Lord, I couldn't have made it this far without you. Right. I just want to say thank you. Thank you. But watch this. Not only did Jesus see our needs, uh -huh. Jesus had every intent to solve their needs. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus said unto Philip, when shall we buy bread that these might eat? Now, it's kind of ironic that the bread of life uh -huh. Will be seeking bread for life. All right. Uh -huh. But what Jesus was about to show them, just like He has shown us down through the years, uh -huh. we look to obtain material things. Yeah. But we need to learn to learn how to lean on the Master. Amen. Yeah. All our blessings, all our benefits, come from the Lord. Amen. I believe the songwriter said, it "Like the down through the years." The Lord been good to me. Yeah. Now I don't know about you. I can't speak for yourself. Right, but when I look back over my life yeah. and I see how far the Lord has brought me, yeah. I can't help but to sit down through the years. Yeah. It was nothing but the Lord, not my money. Right. It was the Lord, not my job. Right. It was the Lord, not my mama or my dad. Right. But it was the Lord right. that been good to me. Yeah. Jesus right. asked the question. He's asked the question, Philip, in the way of testing his faith. Every now and then, God had to test our faith. All right. Yeah. Then the Lord test your faith. Yeah. Every now and then, down through the years. Yeah. yeah when you didn't know how that bill was going to get paid, God right. had to test your faith. Yeah. When you had a sickness in your body, God had to test your faith. Right. Yes, when you're about to lose your job. Yes, you understand? Sir. And all hell is brought to break loose. Yeah. God had to test. Your faith. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't know how you was gonna make it out. But God somehow, some way made it away from you. No, thank you. Yes. Uh, yes Jesus had to test his thank faith. Jesus is about to test Philip's faith. 
and the others' faith as well to show them that they ought to be thankful for what they got. All right. Yes. Here, in verse number six. And this he said to prove him, for he himself knew what he would do. Lord, thank you, Lord. Text says Jesus already knew yeah. what miracle he was about to perform. Yeah. You ought to be thanking God oh, right God. now. Yeah. yeah, that God already know what he's gonna do. Yeah, he yes. In other words, while we trying to figure it out, uh -huh. God has already worked it out for us. Yeah. Therefore, Jesus about to reveal to us that he is the source of that supply our every need. Amen. Yes, I thank God that he showed up in my life. Amen. And when God showed up, I guarantee you, God will show out. Yeah, yeah he'll give you more than enough. You don't believe me? Ask David. David said, my cup running over. Amen. God gave me a little bit of this and some of that. God, God will show up and show out in your life. Right. Therefore, you ought to be thankful Amen. for what you got. All right. They said he is the source that supply every need. Philip asked him, 200 pennies worth of bread is not enough, sufficient enough for them that every one of them may take a little. This is what you call a pessimistic faith, tending to see the worst aspect of the things or believe the worst or whatever he see or will happen. Philip had a pessimistic faith. Mm -hmm. Philip, you understand, was looking at the money. Mm -hmm. Philip had more faith in his money mm -hmm. than he had in the master. Mm -hmm. And a pessimistic faith forget about God's power. Yes. A pessimistic faith forget about what God can do. You understand, some of us suffer with a pessimistic yeah, faith. All right, man. Yes, we know God is able to do it. Right. But yet, we have a pessimistic faith. In mm. other words, if God paid your life bill last month, all right. All right, all right. what makes you think he less than a God in November? All right, that he right. can't pay your, pay, pay your bill in a new month. All right. Yeah, a new month, but the same God. Yeah. yeah. Philip had a pessimistic faith. You understand? He 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 he, he was looking at his money. Somebody, he ought to say man right there. But Jesus not only showed us his compassion, but he had to meet our needs by his confidence. Yeah, yeah, Jesus in the end gonna show us that we ought to have confidence. And I've been talking about this time and time again. Other words, we ought to have faith. And what we ask God for. Amen. Yeah, and I told you when you pray, the Bible said, pray then, believe. See? Believe what you ask God for. Yes, sir. Here we understand, had to deal with a pessimistic faith. Yeah. But now we got to deal with another type of faith. All right. Until we see the faith that we ought to have, and that's through Jesus, the Christ. Philip. Philip was pessimistic. All right. Didn't have faith. Mm -hmm. And if we're going to be thankful yeah. for what we got, we got to stop complaining right. so much. Well. We must have faith that even with our little, it's enough for God to meet our needs. Amen. You didn't get that. I say, even with your little, little. Uh -huh. it's enough to meet God's needs. Yeah. I've been there before. Didn't have but a little money. Uh -huh. And instead of me waiting on God, went down to the check depot place. Oh, went down right now, to the, the loan place and, and borrowed money yes, that sir. I didn't have to borrow. If I didn't have the money to pay the bill, how am I going to get some money to pay back some money? All right, yeah. Now I got to still pay a bill and then pay folks back. Yeah. Because I didn't wait on God. Uh -huh. Pessimistic faith. Mm -hmm. Like there's another disciple responded to Jesus' request. But we find that he had an optimistic faith. Uh -huh. Yeah. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter, brother, said unto him, 
And there is a lad here which has five barley loaves uh -huh. and two small fish. But what are they among so many? Well, before I get to Andrew, I want to talk about this little boy, if you don't mind. Yes, I want to talk about the little boy because there ain't much mention about the little boy. Go ahead, Pastor. But this lad, mm -hmm. this lad, didn't have much. All right, but this lad stood out to me. Yeah. Uh -huh. Number one, this lad was at the meeting. Uh -huh. You understand? Could have been hanging out with his friends. Uh -huh. Could have been, you understand? Down at the mall. Yeah. But the lad was at the meeting. Alright. And we're going to raise up a new generation that fear the Lord and have faith. Amen. Every now and then we got to bring them to the meeting. Yeah. Amen. Every now and then you need to come to the meeting. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's one thing to say your thing, but it's another thing to come to God's house. Alright. And just tell God thank you. I believe every now and then, instead of saying we ought to have a testimony period. Right, and just tell God how thankful we are Amen. for what we got. Yeah. You understand? Sometimes it bothers me when I see a folks only complain all the time. Yeah. All right. You understand? The folks that you understand, they got a loaf of bread up under y'all. Uh -huh. They complaining all the time. Yeah. Yes. But not only did he show up at the meeting, the text says he didn't mind sharing what he had. All right, all right. I wish somebody like here today would Say understand it. what I'm talking about. Because right, there's some grown folks in don't right. mind, don't, 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 don't have a problem sharing, but there's some grown folks in here that have a problem sharing Amen, what they got. Right. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might not be in need, but it's somebody else that's out there in need. Yeah. But yet this, this young boy didn't mind sharing what he had. You understand? He he didn't have but two little small fish, yeah. and really it said five body low, but it really like two five crackers. Uh -huh. And he said, "Lord, this is all I got." And he was willing to give it over to the Lord. Yeah. Some of us right here got you understand a refrigerator full of food, yeah. and rather really let it go spoil. You understand? Rather really throw it out. You understand? Before you ever offer to anybody else, slow like down, there is something. Yeah. But I want you to let you know that God sees you. Yes, sir. And God knows your heart. Yes, you ought to be thankful because yes. one of these old days you're going to stand in need. Yes. Uh, and you're going to wish you had a head that, that you would sit up there and let go of the way. Yeah. I'm, I'm a firm believer. I know about it. Yeah. I know one time I was staying with my great auntie and I had fished them. I had boiled some chicken. I think I fished some noodles or whatever I had, but I had fished it in. And Auntie went in there, she fished her red hot. Now, you done told me to fish them, but you go in there and fish the red hot. I said, okay, I'm going to let that go. And I, I didn't say anything. But you know that old folks, you know, funny about things. Yeah. I put the pot of noodles and the chicken in the refrigerator, and it was still hot. So she go in there and look and say, Michael, you trying to tear my refrigerator up, <laughs> putting it hot ball in my refrigerator. So the devil got into me. I'm not trying to tell you, the devil get into the devil getting the preachers too. The devil right, got into me. It. And I just slung it all out the back door. Right. I said, I tell you what, you gotta worry about your refrigerator tearing up. You ain't gotta worry about these noodles or this chicken. Right. And I slung it out the front back door. Well, that was the longest night I ever had. Right. Because later on I got home. Yeah. Right. And God brought it back to my remembrance. Right. The noodles and chicken that you throw out that back door. Right. And I, I said, I, I, I had to give apologize to her and tell God I was sorry. Yeah. Every now and then, God had to bring things yeah. back to you again. Yeah. And see, it probably, it was out of all them folks that was at the meeting. So yeah. he said 5,000 plus women and children. Out of all them folks that was at the meeting, only this little boy had something that looked what he had, he was willing to share. Uh -huh. What I'm trying to get us to understand and see, you ought to be thankful for what you got. But the little thing that you got, you ought to be willing to share with somebody else. Yeah. 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 Amen. We, 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 we done lost our sense of gratitude and thankfulness. Yeah. Yes, like I said earlier, we used to go and we could go to our neighbor and borrow from him. We uh -huh. could ask for this and ask for that. 
That we won't even share nothing. Amen. Jesus said, we ought to be thankful for what we got. But Jesus showed us that Andrew had an optimistic faith. Because he said, I got faith, God. Little boy got two small fish and five barley loaves. But what is this? All right. Among so many. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes, you got five dollars in your pocket, and you want to walk around talking about you broke. All right, man. Well, the person next to you probably ain't got nothing in their pocket. Uh huh. Wishing they had the five that you had. Yeah. Stop complaining all the time. Well. Yes, Andrew questioned Jesus, a person that have an optimistic faith. Always complain about the problem. All right. Great over the small provision. Yeah. And grumpy over the meager re uh, resources. In other words, you understand? Uh, you might have um, grits. All right. But you won't bake it with the grits. Thank God for the grits. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And move on in life. Yeah. Right. But here, he had an Austin mystic faith and we ought not have a faith like that but in order to overcome an optimistic faith one must become obedient to god's will yeah, right, yeah right. if we're going to overcome our optimistic faith instead of looking at what we got and then complaining about it you got to have faith and obey and do what god tells us to do text says jesus said make the men sit down on the grass in the gospel of St. Mark. Mm -hmm. Mark said that the grass was green. Mm -hmm. We all know that green represents life. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we know that God was about to do a miracle all right, all right. in the midst of the multitude. Jesus, you understand, was about to show that he's able to preserve life. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, sometimes God had to let us try to lean and depend on other things. Uh -huh. Until we realize that we ought to be leaning and depending on the Lord. Uh -huh. Jesus said, sit down, 5,000 men, not counting the women and the children. Uh -huh. God wants to bless us today. But we must learn how to obey and do what we are told to do. Yes. That's the only way we're going to receive a blessing. All right. By the time we get to verse 11, text says that Jesus took the loaves of bread and gave thanks and then distributed to the disciples. Uh -huh. Jesus didn't just hand it out to them, but he gave thanks for what he had. Amen. And we ought to look at how Jesus approached the problem mm -hmm. and learn from Jesus. Amen. When was the last time you told God thank you right. for what you got? Amen. Lord, I might not have a million dollars, yeah. but I thank you for the thank ten you. that I got down and read the bank. God, I thank you. Yeah. You understand? I might not have, you understand, the fancy car. Yeah. But I thank God for the one that I do have that get me back from a doctor's appointment. Back to my house. Yeah. We ought to learn how to be thankful. Every now and then. You understand? We might not have the education of this. Yeah. That we so much desire. Amen. But I thank God for this sanctuary. Yeah. Where we can still preach and teach God's All word. Right. Yes. You understand? We might not have the fellowship hall. That we all desire to have. Yeah. But I thank God that we got some folks that's back there in the back. Amen. That know how to fix a carry out and we can cook meals and bring in here and keep it warm. Yeah. Because see, God, God can make a way out of nowhere. Yeah. And we have to learn how to thank God for the lift. If he's going to bless us with a lot. Yeah. And what Jesus was trying to get the to see. Yeah. Text says that Jesus, before he gave it to him, he gave him thanks. Right. 
And thank you, God, for the little bit I do got. Yeah. You understand? Mama taught me that a long time ago. She said, well, before you pop, start putting your food in your mouth, you got to at least say, God is great. God is good. Uh -huh. You understand? Let us thank him for our food. Uh -huh. You understand? Sometimes, you understand, we didn't, we didn't advance. Sometimes we, we just said, Jesus well. Uh -huh. You understand? But at least we give God faith and credit yeah, for God. what he has done for us. Amen. 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 that Jesus Prayed over the bread before he started breaking it out, giving it to them. And likewise with the fish. Text says he started thanking God for the fish. We ought to thank God for the little that we do got. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And understand that if God can bless you with a little, God is able to bless you with a lot. Amen. Well, I wanted to show us that we ought to be thankful for what we got. Number one, I told you that Jesus, you understand, was compassionate. Uh -huh. Jesus had love in his heart. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to send nobody home home. All right. You understand, the same way it is with us today. Yeah. Jesus loves. Amen. And he don't want to send you from his house home. Amen. That's, that's rude. You understand, I'm the man of the house. And I let you come here home and then leave you in the same predicament that you was in here when you came here. But Jesus said, I don't want to leave you home. So he had compassion. Mm -hmm. But not only did Jesus have compassion, but Jesus had confidence. Yeah. He had confidence in his ability to do what he said he was able to do. Amen. And that's what Jesus is trying to show us today. You've got to have confidence in what Jesus is able to do. Yes. You know what I'm Jesus can do all things but faith. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what he was trying to show his disciples. Instead of having an optimistic faith, instead of having a pessimistic faith, you ought to have a, a true believing, a God faith type faith and love in Amen. him. Amen. But the last thing that I need to show you that he was considered. Yeah, it's an old saying, no man is an island uh -huh. standing alone. Uh -huh. If you're going through something, if you got a problem, what makes you think somebody that's sitting right next to you ain't going through the same All thing? Right. All right, right. It's not worse. And therefore, Jesus showed us that we ought to be considerate enough to meet the needs of somebody else. Uh -huh. You understand? I might not have what I need, yeah. but I believe if Deacon Ray of Glenn got it, right. I can go to them and ask yeah. them Amen. for it. Amen. Because God can touch their heart Amen. in order to make them give. Yeah. Amen. Here in the text, Jesus said, you understand? He satisfied the people's need. You ought to thank God that he satisfied me when they were filled. He said unto his disciples, gather up the fragments that remain that nothing be lost. Yes, Jesus satisfied their needs. How do I know the text says that when they were all filled? In other words, nobody left their home. All right. Nobody left there in need. Yeah. I don't know about your soul. But uh but that's uh that's that's a, a, a your living soul you understand? You understand? But God shows us that he's able to satisfy our needs. All right. Jesus understand left them not in the same shape. Right. But in a better shape. All right. Other words, when you come to God, yeah. you ought not leave the same way that you came to. Him. All right, amen. Nobody can come to God and leave in the same shape or predicament that they came to Him. Amen. You understand? They started off with not enough, but the text says, but at the end of the day, they had more than enough. Yeah. You understand the text says that the leftovers was not only for them to eat at a later time, but for a testimony unto them that that, that uh, didn't know who God was. Now they know who did, and it was God. In other words, Amen. they saw 5,000 plus yeah. sitting out in the field home. Uh -huh. But after 
God blessed the two small fish and five barley loaves. Yeah. So 5,000 feel. Bellies full. You know how it is when we get eat. We be ready to go to sleep. All right. We ready to relax. Yes, now Jesus showed them that I am who you think that you thought I was. All right. I am that prophet. Yeah. I am the son of God yeah. that have come down through 42 generations. Yeah. I am the bread of life. Yeah. I'm the one that can meet your every need. Yes, sir. I'm the one that can satisfy your soul. Yeah. Jesus had to show them and he showed them through the miracle of the two small fish and fire by the Lord. All right. But as we come to a close, text says that therefore they gathered them together uh -huh. and filled 12 baskets yeah. with the fragments of the five barley loaves and, and which remained over and above unto them that had eaten. Uh -huh. Then those men, when they had seen the miracle that Jesus did, this is of a truth, that the prophet that should come into the world, yeah. other words, they saw what Jesus did. Uh -huh. And he realized that he must be the son of God. Uh, yeah. Every now and then, the Lord will show up in your life. All right. You understand? And he will, when he show up, he will show out. Yeah. Thank God for Jesus. Yeah. Amen. The Lord won't Amen. leave you in the same shape that you were Amen. in with your men. Right. Thank the Lord. All right. Yeah. I thank God for everything that I got. Yeah. And I realized that if it had not been for the Lord that was on my side, yeah. somebody would be asking me, where would I be? Uh -huh. You understand when my friends turn their backs on me? Yeah. When my family, you understand, might not can meet my needs. Yeah. I still made it. Yeah. Somebody said, well, how did you make it? I don't know how the Lord did it. But one thing I do know he did. Yeah. Yeah. I thank God right now yeah. for everything that I got. You understand? I got a pain in my back, but I thank the Lord for it. Yeah. You understand? I got arthritis in my leg, but I thank the Lord for it. Yeah. You understand? I ain't got but a dollar in my pocket, but I thank the Lord for it. Yeah. I can barely see, but I thank the Lord for the yeah. little I got. You understand? And I put step getting short, but I thank God for the little footsteps I'm still able to make. Yeah. Every now and then you got to stop complaining just say, the Lord, thank you. Right. You understand, Lord, I ain't got the two ends of bread. And I got one egg, but I thank God for my egg son. Because I know on tomorrow you're going to bless me some bigger than that. You want to tell God thank you every now and then. Somebody say, well, what I got to tell the Lord thank you for? Because you were deep down in the sea. And what God needed, he didn't have to do it. But the Lord stepped on a grill or a cup called Cabaret. You understand? He held on bled and died for our sins. Just that I get happy every now and then. So I'm thinking about the Lord and the good things that he had done. The Lord has been better than he ever did more than I've been to myself. You understand? When the doctor tell me don't do this, I still did it anyway. But God looked beyond all my fault. And still saw my every need. I want to tell God, thank you. You want to tell God, thank you. Thank the Lord for what I got. Stop looking at what you don't have, but thank God for what you got. I might not have much, but I thank God for it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got but a hand of peace. I thank God for the hand of peace. Yes, sir. God was saying, so we have to be thankful for what we got. Yes, Lord. Stop complaining. Uh-huh. Stop fighting. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Andrew. Had an optimistic faith. Yeah. Lord, I got faith in you. But this little boy ain't got but two small fish to buy by uh -huh. yeah. What is this? Yeah. But then God didn't ask him that. Right. God said, What is there out there? All he wanted him to do is put it in his hand. Hey, he had it. It. And Andrew had two small fish and five body holes. Yeah. But put your problems in God yeah. Yeah. and the situation changed. Uh -huh. yeah. Right you understand? Yeah. Philip, you understand, had an optimistic faith. Uh -huh. An optimistic faith. Mm -hmm. He was looking at, if, if we had 200 pennies worth of uh, bread here, yeah. Lord, it ain't going to be enough. Right. But it ain't enough for you, bro. Right. You put it in God's hands. Yeah. 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 God can make yeah. the 
God can make, the, make you into a believer. I know this for a fact. I'm too preaching right now. I'm just testifying right now. I know for a fact God can make you into a believer. But I ain't know I, I know I told my mama last week I got a bill to pay. And I know I ain't got enough money to pay. I know I ain't got enough money. But I wasn't worried because I knew God was going to make a way. I had enough to pay my bill. I had a little left over to go and eat something from church and chicken. I can take God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stop worrying about what you ain't got. Don't worry. Because you're playing what the other folks got. You yes, thank God for what you got. Yes, and watch God bless you. Yes, that's all God's trying to tell you. And that's all I'm trying to show you. I just can't take one month, one Sunday, out of the month and just say, because this is what God thinks you. Thanksgiving and thank you. No. Every time I get up, I want to say God thank you. But when you just don't get that red gum, you can use the whole month of November to tell him thank you for what he's done. Right. God thank bless you, God. Keep you in our prayer. Lord God, the house is open at this time. The Lord has taken the kids to the Lord God. That's what you can. We ought to be thankful. Amen. Yeah, that's what right, right, this for. As often as you do this, do this in remembrance of what I've done on Calvary's cross. Amen. Be thankful. 